Hello everyone, Stan Kondrat is here. We continue studying prepositions and in this video we will look at the preposition dear which works with two cases. Let's begin. The preposition dia works with two cases, with the genitive and the accusative cases, which means that the following word, the word which is written after this preposition, will be either in the genitive or in the accusative case. In the New Testament, this preposition appears 668 times, and uh, the construction dia plus genitive appears 388 times, and dia plus accusative will appear 280 times in the New Testament. Now, the meaning of this preposition will depend whether the following word stands in the genitive case or accusative case. Let's take a look. Dia plus the word written in the genitive case means through. And uh, dia plus the word written in the accusative case means because of, or we could say on account of, or for the sake of, or simply for. So, as you can see, the meaning of this word will depend on the case of the following word. So, when you memorize this word, you don't just memorize dia means through and it means because of. No, you need to memorize dia plus the case of the following word. So, dia plus genitive means through, and dia plus accusative means because of. For example, in this construction, dia through, whenever you encounter this preposition, you immediately look at the following word and uh, check its ending, and here we have the genitive case ending, so we apply this translation, dia plus genitive means through God. And in this construction, dia theon, we see the accusative ending right here, so we apply this meaning because we have dia plus accusative case word, so dia plus accusative means because of God. So now let's take a look at some examples from the Bible. And this is our first example. For the educational purposes, I placed uh, the material of this lesson right here. And the, here we have a paradigm for the definite articles and how they change through the cases for masculine, feminine, and neuter genders. This paradigm is very helpful because the endings of the definite articles pretty much match the adjectives and nouns, so their endings will be somewhat similar. So now let's uh, take a look at what we have here. Aladiatus Pharisaius, they did not confess him. So the word Allah means uh, but, so but, and uh, then we have our preposition dia, followed by tus Pharisaius. Tus Pharisaius means the Pharisees. Now we need to check in what case uh, these words are written. So this is the definite article and its ending is us, which matches the ending of the word it uh, defines. So now we need to check the cases, and remember we only need to check genitive and accusative cases, because no other cases will follow this preposition. And we find this ending right here in the accusative. So, tus pharisaius is the accusative case. Now we check here, dia plus accusative means because of. So, this prepositional phrase means because of the Pharisees. Now let's put everything together. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him. That's it, that's very simple. Whenever we see our preposition, we check the case of the following words. In this example, it was accusative, so we translate this preposition as because of, because of the Pharisees. That's it, very simple. Let's move on to the next example. Revelation 1 1. And he showed and sent it, dia to Angelu, au tu. So this is our preposition dia. It is followed by to Angelu, au tu. We can see that uh, it has similar endings, and we find these endings in the genitive case right here, which means that dia plus genitive uh, means through, so we translate this construction as um, through his angel altogether, and he showed and sent it through his angel. Revelation 1.9 
I, John, was on the island Patmos, dia ton logon to theu. So here we have our preposition dia followed by ton logon, the word, and we check for these endings and we find them in the accusative case right here. It is also appearing in the neuter, but we know that the word the logon is um, the masculine word, so accusative, and dia plus accusative means because of, so we translate this prepositional phrase as because of the word of God. So together, I, John, was on the island Patmos because of the word of God. A beautiful example from the book of Ephesians, in whom we have redemption, dia tu, haimatos, au tu. So this is our preposition, followed by tu, haimatos. We can see this ending right here. This is a genitive singular neuter. So our preposition will be translated as through, so through his Haimata's blood, through his blood. A few words about uh, this um, noun. Any word in Greek which ends on ma is the neuter gender word in the third declension. In the genitive form, these uh, words will have the ending matos. For example, right here, haimatos, genitive singular. Another word, uh, onoma, name, will be anomatos or pneuma, spirit, pneumatos. So just memorize this ending. But remember, all of this is irrelevant because the definite article which defines this word will pretty much follow the standard endings. So again, these words are in the genitive singular and we translate uh, this construction as through his blood. So altogether, in whom we have redemption through his blood. Example from the Gospel of Matthew, which was spoken dia esayu to profetu. So our preposition followed by the proper name esayu, which means Isaiah, and we check the ending. This is the genitive case ending, so we translate dia as through. So uh, which was spoken through Isaiah to profetu the Prophet. A little bit of syntax. Um, this construction is the genitive of opposition, which means that it further clarifies who this Isaiah is. It's not just any Isaiah, but this is Isaiah the prophet. So, altogether, which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet. A short but very meaningful example comes from Apostle Paul. We are fools dia Christon, our preposition dia followed by Christon. Christon means Christ, so we check the ending on, and if you have not learned it by now, this is the accusative ending for masculine singular right here, so dia plus accusative means because of, so we are fools because of Christ, or on account of Christ, or for the sake of Christ. Here, Apostle Paul reminds us that uh, we Christians became the spectacle for this world, and sometimes in the eyes of the world we are fools because of our faith in Christ. But we Christians know that uh, in Christ Jesus we have all the treasures of the universe. So who cares how the world looks at us? So a beautiful example. Uh, let's uh, refresh. Uh, we are fools for the sake of Christ. And this example comes from the book of uh, Romans. There is no English. Everything is in Greek. Let's read. Eirenen echamen proston theon, dia tukuriu hemon Iesu Christu. So let's begin. Eirenen means peace, and uh, this is the verb uh, we have. So we have. We have peace, proston theon, another prepositional phrase with God. So we have peace with God, dia. To curio, we can see the genitive ending, so dia means through. So we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, our final example comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 20. Let's read. The doors were shut, dia ton phobon ton iudion. 
So our preposition dia followed by ton phobon. These are the accusative singular endings right here. So dia means because of, because of the fear. Ton iudayan, this is the genitive case. We insert of right here, because of the fear of the Jews. So altogether, the doors were shut because of the fear of the Jews. Wow, look at this. We started from scratch, but at the end of the video, you were translating Biblical Greek. You did it by yourself. As you can see, I teach in a very simple way, so anyone can learn and understand Biblical Greek. And when we reach 500 subscribers of this channel, I'm going to run a special promotion of my video course of the Biblical Greek grammar, just for the YouTube community. So subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment below. I wish you nothing less than success. So learn Greek, love God, and I'll see you in the next video.